Hello viewers, thanks for being here. Uh, Drew and I just finished uh, the first year of our MBA program and we wanted to give you guys some tips to help you get through your MBA program or if you're considering an MBA program to know how to best prepare when going into it. Tip number one, be organized and manage your time. You're gonna find out really early on in the MBA program there's a lot of demands on your time. Um, one of the biggest components obviously is gonna be your classes. So you should get your class schedule before the program starts and map out when your classes are and then as the weeks uh, get going with that first semester, allocate time each day when you're gonna study for each class. This will really help you, especially as other things start to fill up your time that are outside of your classes. Uh, a second component of managing your time is your internship search. That first semester and that first year, you're gonna spend a good deal of time searching for the right internship to do during the summer between your first and second year of school. Um, make sure you allocate time to do this every week so that it doesn't pile up on you and you're able to find that the best internship for you and you're not scrambling at the last minute to try to find an internship. Um, the third thing to remember is that you're going to have more to do than you have time for. So find a method that works for you, whether that's using a day planner with pen and paper and mapping out your schedule or uh, the calendar on your phone. Uh, there's many ways that you can do it, um, but just find out whatever method works for you and do that. Yeah, and it's going to be different for everybody. So Drew's a great planner. Um, I am not a great planner. When I came to the MBA program, I knew that I needed to be organized, and so I tried to set up a, a calendar on my phone and do all those things, but it just wasn't working out. So what I ultimately did was latch on to people like Drew and others in my cohort who were organized and made sure that I knew when assignments were due and what we had coming up so that I never missed anything and, and I survived just fine. Uh, number two is to talk to people who have done this before. Right? Maybe there's people in your company or your family who've gotten an MBA. Talk to them about their experience and what they learned and what advice they have for you. But also don't forget about those second years that have just finished their first year. Right, so talk to them. They just went through it. Uh, they know what the program is like, especially at your school, and they can give you tips and advice. And don't be afraid to ask them, you know, uh, even odd questions like what you, what you have to wear every day or, you know, how to, how to feed yourself when you're on campus for 10 hours, um, all those things. Get those fears out of the way. Uh, talk to them, and they'll be a valuable resource, and they'll be more than happy to help you out. Tip number three, do well in your classes, but don't stress getting straight A's. Um, is really a, a kind of a shift of mentality for a lot of people because a lot of high achievers go to graduate school. Getting an MBA is not an easy thing. So it's going to be natural to want to do well um, and maybe to strive for that 4.0 GPA or a 3.8, 3.9, something like that. Um, but remember that most employers after graduate school are not going to ask you for your graduate school GPA. So it's important to do well, to understand what you're being taught, to be able to apply these principles when you get out in the real world. Um, but understand that school is part of your MBA experience and it's not your whole MBA experience. Uh, my grandpa used to say, don't let your schooling get in the way of your education. There are so many important aspects of the MBA experience that you want to make sure you enjoy and take part in so that when your two years are over, you can look back and say, wow, what an incredible experience, not wow, I spent all my time studying and stressing over grades. Absolutely. <clears throat> Number four, take risks. Don't be afraid to jump in and get your feet wet with opportunities uh, in your MBA program. There will be tons of opportunities that, that come your way uh, through the program, through professors, maybe a professor has a consulting opportunity or other opportunities there. They're looking at research opportunities. And there will also be a lot of experiential learning opportunities through the program. Make sure you take advantage of those and, and look for other opportunities. You know, uh, people that you know that have a business that maybe need some help, um, feel free to jump in and give them free labor so you can get experience to put on your resume and to have when you go into the job in the work field to, to be well prepared for whatever it is you're going to be doing. Um, and especially true if you're pivoting, if you're coming from a career like me, I was in teaching and education and now I'm going into marketing. So any marketing experience I can get, I try to latch onto that because it's gonna help me so much more and help me learn this field of marketing that I've never really done before. And even opportunities with the members of your cohort. I mean, this right here, this is an example of, of us reaching out and uh, taking a risk and taking a plunge and getting our feet wet and just trying something. It's been a lot of fun and it's, you know, we're gonna be filthy rich because of it, <laughs> but that's, that comes later. So look for opportunities uh, with other members. You might be able to start a business or, or get involved with the members of your cohort. And the last tip we have for you is networking. 
Um, this is also going to be a crucial part of your MBA experience, especially during that first year. Um, even the first few weeks of your first semester, take the time to network with your cohort. These are going to become some of your best friends and the people you're going to spend a lot of time with over the next two years. Um, get to know what they like to do for fun. Ask them where they're from and, and what their professional background is. You'll be surprised as you start having these conversations how um, different people are connected to other people that um, could potentially be a, a great resource for you of either someone that's in a job that you'd like to have someday or someone that's in an industry that you're interested in exploring. So don't hesitate to just open your mouth and have those conversations. Um, along with second year students like Virgil touched on before, um, this is also another great resource for you to, to network and connect with um, because it just expands your network that much more. Um, and, and especially with prospective employers, as you're searching for an internship um, and then on to a full-time job, especially during your second year, use that student card and leverage it um, to the best of your ability. Tell people that you're, an, you're a student in the MBA program and you're just learning uh, about different industries or careers and you want to explore what they do. Um, people are always happy to talk to you about what they do and, and are happy to help you, especially when you, they know that you're a student. Absolutely. And you'd be surprised how strong those, those connections can be. Uh, Drew and I didn't know each other before the program, and now if a day goes by that I don't hear from him, I feel it in my heart. I want to add a bonus tip in here. Um, don't get caught up in the comparison game, right? Everyone that comes to this MBA program is going to be successful. They've been successful before, they're probably going to be successful down the road. Um, and, and it's easy to get caught up and be like, wow, look at all these people that have done these great things and come from these huge companies and maybe feel like your accomplishments aren't that great. I know that was a huge struggle for me coming in. I get an education background, teaching high school. I'd never really done any business. My undergrad is in biology. And so I was, I was a little insecure coming in. Um, but the sooner I lost that, as soon as I lost that, that insecurity and just opened up and jumped in and, and got connected with my with my peers. I realized they're all struggling too with, with different things in the program and that we can all help each other and benefit each other in different ways. So don't compare yourself to others. Just get in and, and show what you have to offer and, and, and don't be afraid. Well, we hope you've had fun. Enjoyed the show. We'd like to thank you for watching The Viral Flow. If you liked what you saw, no gimmicks, no bribe, just comment, like, and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Who's who's doing the first? Oh, you. Okay, so I'll I'll all right, I'll start. Off. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? I guess we should have thought about what we're gonna say between. I and asked talking you about. if you wanted to do a drive. I know, I know, but I thought we'd just lead right into it. <laughs> I um, think we gotta start over. <laughs> and along with that, <laughs> right. number four, take risks. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. that yes. Was, that was a train wreck, but. <laughs> that was great. All right. How are we uh, going to end it? Oh, we're going to end it. We're going to say thanks for watching. We hope you. Peace! Peace.